Their soul became part of the snake's soul, so they would they they, they knew that their ancestors were inhabiting the snakes, and so that's what they, they wouldn't kill the rattlesnake. It was it was bad juju, <laughs> bad juju to, to kill the rattlesnake. And Bartram Bartram in his book writes probably three pages on his stories. He has he has uh, I think three or four uh, encounters with rattlesnakes, and in two instances. He talks about how the rattlesnake could have killed him, but did it, and so he was he was reluctant to kill rattlesnakes or anything actually, but rattlesnakes in particular, he thought of them as as a friendly species, if you will. But in the instance up in Georgia, uh, the guy he's traveling with blew the head off the rattlesnake with his gun, and then and then here the Indians uh, enticed uh, Bartram to uh, to kill the rattlesnake to save. The, he said they were holding him hostage; they were eating the food from their plates. Is, is one of the one of his quotes, and um, which is rather interesting, and, um, and 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 not only that, but after they after he had killed the rattlesnake, they came back the next day to scratch William Bartram. Now I believe that means that they were going to tattoo him because of you know as as a badge of honor for killing the rattlesnake. But luckily, uh, they came to Spalding's lower store, and there were enough people there to prevent them from from scratching him, which is really interesting. So Barsham didn't like believe in tattoos.